is the Meslab HX300 recirculating chiller. It is fed by uh, an input of 208 volts, three phase, and it is phase sensitive. If the phases are incorrect and you have your main light lit here and you go to turn it on and hit start and it doesn't start, it's because you're out of phase and you'll have to switch one of your input lines. Um, as you can hear it all running right now, that's because it, the phasing is correct. On your control panel here, you have your emergency shut off, your main on and off. There is a breaker in the back for the uh, circuit breaker for the three phase input. And your control panel is here. On the right hand side is your input and output for your water for the chiller. Your pressure, your restriction control is here in red here. This unit has a capability of 12 gallons per minute. It's really spec for 10. And uh, it has no problem doing that. It has a CP uh, 55 centrifugal pump inside of it. And I've, you can look at here, you can see through this, and you can see we're right at the top here. And I'll, I'll turn it down so you can see it. So we have no problem maintaining that flow rate. Right now, you can see I've got it set for 35 degrees. The range on this piece is 5 degrees to 35 degrees C, and I have a uh, thermocouple into this water tank, which is filled here, and you can see that we're at 34.7 C. To change your temperature, once, you're, once you've started and it's running, uh, you hit the next or enter, and SP and 35, and that's your, your set point. And I'm going to change that. And uh, you can see right now it's cycling cool, so it's trying to maintain temperature. I'm going to bring that down to 5. And as you can see, you can just hold it or you can step through it one by one. And if 5 is the, is the lowest, then once you've selected that, I hit enter and it says SP5. And I'm going to confirm it and hit enter again. So at this point, the set point is set to 5 degrees. And you can see our cool light has stopped flashing and it's now we're in full cool and as the temperature begins to drop you can see we're at 34 as it goes down it'll go down to about five degrees so we're going to wait until that does that and then come back and i can show you that it's gone down and we'll compare it and if you can see here on the on the separate that the temperature is already dropping okay so it's about 20 minutes later and you can see uh, we're down to five degrees and we are cycling here with the cool, and our standalone uh, meter here is showing 4.7 degrees C. I also wanted to point out that with that uh, change from, from 35 down to 5, I did do a speed check, and it's got about a 2.3 degree uh, centigrade per minute rate drop. 